Yo, what's up? You're never just your buddy Dustin from Blue Collar Gear Review. Coming at you today with a two-part video installment. One, the Crete Excalibur GX2200H, and two, the RH100 by Randall. Both known to be high-gained, awesome, solid-state amplifiers. I, I, I'm guilty, and I'll tell you that I've been a tube guy for a very long time. I've mentioned in many videos about using my 5150s and swearing by them. But my buddy Brandon, uh, which I thank him greatly for loaning these amps, um, tells me that these amps do an excellent job of achieving that... Um, that really just this really high gain thrash tone from the 80s and 90s um, if you're familiar with bands of those eras so um, we're going to dive in we're going to take a closer look at the onboard panel just a quick review of the controls what the amps offer and then we're not going to spend a lot of time there we're going to get straight into the tone um, i'm going to be using a uh, ibanez guitar outfitted with duncan invaders um, so it's going to get hot it's going to get nasty it may probably feed back a little bit but we'll just deal with that when we get there um, after we do a quick sound sample sound review uh, if you want to call it that uh, offer some comments and some feedback, feedback myself on what I kind of think it sounds like in the room and then we'll dive into the Randall. We'll do the same thing with the Randall one again in a two-part series. So uh, without much further ado, let's dive in and let's see what it sounds like. All right, real quick guys, I'm going to run through the front panel. Um, you have your gain select right off the top, uh, top end by your input here. Gain one off and on. You can shape the gain of your amp or the gain tone of your amp. Uh, channel A is just essentially channel one of the amp, then channel B is the second channel. Um, it looks like you have two different gain stages uh, for channel A, and channel one just your basic level, high, medium, and low. And then you can um, set the reverb for each of those channels. You can off on the reverb there. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty cut and dry. I will say that this amp itself, I don't know if you can tell in the video, this amp shell itself is just big. <laughs> it is a massive head for it to be uh, you know, a solid state amp. But that's neither here nor there. Um, so without further ado, let's dive in. the uh, Protone um, pre, uh, preamp pedal into the mix as well. Brandon uh, just recommended try it in the front end. This is an 18 volt pedal, features a volume, bass, and treble. So we may get some more uh, tone shaping, shaping options out of this guy. So let's give it a try. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, Gunners, there you have it. It's the uh, Crate Excalibur GX2200H. Really cool amp. Um, does definitely capture that scoop sound, that thrash sound. Um, and even more so when you introduce the uh, Proton preamp in the front of that pedal, or front of the amp with this pedal. Um, I'm going I'm to try more with this. I think it's really cool, so look for some other stuff with it later. Um, but, yeah, if you're looking for that scoop sound and your thrash rock sound and, you, and you're not trying to break the bank, these guys are pretty affordable from what I'm understanding. Again, I'll thank a good buddy of mine for loaning it to me. Um, but, yeah, I really think that the amp itself is solid, and I think the amp came to life using a, a bit of a preamp boost there. So um, if you're looking for one or thinking about buying one, uh, you know, hopefully this helps you make that decision. Look for part two of this thrash installment uh, in, the, in the description uh, below. We're going to go through that Randall RH100 kind of through the similar paces of, of you know, the amp itself and then hitting it with a, uh, with a boost. So again, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.